What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today for y'all, I do have another sneaker review. We're going to switch it up from the Jordan content a little bit. So today for y'all, I do have an Air Force One. Uh, so we're going to get into it. I do like what they did with the shoe a lot. I think it's a pretty cool shoe that they that Nike came up with. So we're going to get into it. So as always, stick around and stay tuned and let's go. So today for y'all, like I said, we do have the Air Force One popcorn. The shoe recently came out a couple weeks ago from the time that this video was recorded. Uh, so just to start, so the tag, we do have a size nine and a half. I don't have my size in the shoe. I am looking for my size because I would love to have the shoe in uh, for myself. So the color code reads coconut milk and white. Like I said, it is a size nine and a half. It did retail for 130 and the shoe reads Air Force One 07 PRM EMB. So the shoe also did come out uh, when this one came out. There was also a blazer that came out with the shoe as well with the same theme with the popcorn. Uh, so I don't actually have that shoe on hand. I'll post a picture a little bit later of what that shoe looks like, but let's go ahead and get into the review of this one. So there are a couple things that I did like that they did with this shoe. So one of those is the paper that they put with the shoe. So to go with the popcorn theme, that shoe, the, the paper reminds me, or it is of the old popcorn tubs that they had back in the day, the, the vintage tubs, I guess you could say, where they had the red and white stripes and it was, you know, just like, just like how this paper looks. So I thought that was a really cool addition to, that they had with the shoe. So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. All right, so like I said, this is the Air Force One popcorn. So like I said, I really love this shoe. I really do love what they did with this shoe. Um, I think the concept was dope. The colorway is dope. They do have the tumbled leather all around the shoe. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of tumbled leather, but I think it actually works really well with this shoe. So just to start, we do have the, I guess, coconut milk, you could say, or I'd call it cream, but the coconut milk colorway all over the shoe. And then you also have the white Nike check mark, uh, white midsole, white laces as well. You do have the cream colored outsole. Uh, they, they, they did add a gold popcorn. I, if, if it was me, I would leave this on here. I think it's a it's really cool addition to the shoe, something different for sure, but it is a gold little piece of popcorn. Uh, the other cool thing that they did with this one, uh, the tongue kind of sticks with the popcorn theme so it has the nike air and kind of like the almost like a cartoon writing and it's the same on the back with the nike right there with almost that same kind of cartoonish writing uh the other cool thing that i really like that they did with the shoe was the insole of the shoe so you do see the popcorn print kind of all throughout the insole of the shoe i thought that was a really cool addition although you know you don't get to see it every time you wear the shoe just to know it's there i thought it was pretty dope uh, and then like i said they did have white laces and then also they have the white lace tips. I mean, not white, I'm tripping. Gold lace tips, I'm sorry. Gold lace tips or aglet. Shout out Phineas and Fred if you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. So, you know, that, that's the shoe. And then the other cool addition, just a little bit of history with Air Force One that they threw on here was it has fresh since 82 on here. And so that's on both shoes. It's on the outside of both shoes, but it's in almost like a, it's like etched, but it's an indention where it says fresh since 82. So no, 82 is not when popcorn was invented. So the Air Force One was first introduced in 1982, um, and then it was discontinued in 1984 and brought back in 1986. So that's what the 82 is. It was when the Air Force One was first introduced. So overall, I do really love the shoe, like I said earlier. If I could rank it one through 10, I'd probably give it an eight and a half. I am trying to find it in my size. I don't I actually only have one other pair of Air Force Ones, which is this one. Uh, and this was a Nike ID Air Force One by a company called A Herd of Bison. Uh, they have their own clothing line and they actually have different shoes as well. But this was the Nike ID Air Force One that they did. And I thought it was pretty dope as well. So this is the actually the first and only Air Force One that I own. But I will be trying to find this shoe in my size. I think it would be great to have in my collection i think if you're into air force ones and really like air force ones i think it's also something that you should have as well 
I like said, the red really pops on this. Um, it, it's almost like neutral colors to me. And then with just hints of colors that pop. So the red really pops on the tongue and then on the back as well. And then like I said, the insole is really dope to me. Uh, so to talk about the blazer, which was the other shoe that came out in the popcorn theme, the blazer is almost the reverse or it is the reverse of how they did this shoe. So on the blazer, the Nike check is the cream colorway. And then the main color on the blazer all around the shoe is the white, is white um, all around. And then laces are cream, uh, midsole is cream, uh, the outsole is white. Um, so it, it is, they did do it a little different. I think the blazer was 110. This shoe retailed at 130. Um, I know on the on the resale market right now, like Facebook Marketplace, I think pairs are going for probably 175 or 180. So if you can find it in your size, I would recommend getting it. I know I'll be trying to find it uh, for a good price in my size. I'm not sure what the Blazers are doing on the resale market as well. I'm not a huge Blazer fan uh, myself, but I will be trying to add more Air Force Ones to my collection. I think I'm for sure gonna start trying by trying to find this shoe. Uh, but I do, like I said, I do recommend getting it. If you can get your hands on it, I think people will love it. Like I said, tumble leather is always hit or miss with people, but you know, this this one I think is a really cool, just kind of homage to popcorn that itself. Uh, so as always, I do appreciate appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the shoe. Would you purchase the shoe like this popcorn theme shoe? Do you have a, an Air Force One uh, in your collection that you love? I know there's tons of Air Force Ones. They like I said they've been around for a long time. I know they do different customizations with them. They have Nike ID for them, different themes. I know like they have like the Supreme Air Force One and then they recently came out with the Stussy Air Force One. So there's just, uh, like like the Nike Dunks almost, these Air Force Ones are just, it's all over the place with them. You know, people do so many, so many things with them, different collaborations. Uh, so it is a very versatile shoe. People love to wear Air Force Ones. You know, they it's one of those shoes that almost never goes out of style. Like the white Nike Air Force Ones, you can almost never find them in the store. People love the just classic all white Nike Air Force Ones. It's a staple in the sneaker community. It, it'll never go out of style. But as always, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite Air Force One is. Would you purchase this one in itself, the popcorn themed Air Force One? But as always, appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay safe and stay blessed. And I will catch y'all later.